This is what it looks like. This is what we're going to make today. So what we need today for this uh, craft is we need a pop bottle like this or something similar. Then we need scouring pads like this. It doesn't matter what make or what kind. It doesn't make much of a difference. They're all relatively similar. They have some small differences. And this is, this is sort of how it looks. This is how these these pads look, and they're they're usually used in the kitchen to clean pots and pans. They're pretty thin, so these pads are going to be turned into into a um, rotary tool bit or a Dremel tool bit that we can use. What we have here is is we have a little wrench like this, and then we have a. Um, and it has a little screwdriver on the end. Then what you have here is you have a little mandrel. And I took the little washers off that were on it because they're not good enough. And then here, here this is what, what one of these pads looks like once it's finished and we've used it and it's and it's been used up. This is kind of what what one of the brand name ones look like. This is uh, this one is about five dollars. And it's pretty expensive, and when once we've made ours, they're they're relatively similar, not identical, but similar, and they might be maybe maybe ten cents to make one, or ten to twenty five cents, so much much cheaper. And then here we we have a set of scissors, and then here we have uh, this uh, rotary tool, which can be any brand; it doesn't really matter. And then here we have some pliers, and then of course we have, I'm not sure if I showed you this before, we have the big needle. So this is a really big needle here, it's a thick one. And this needle needs to be about as thick as, as this screw here, so that's about ideal, just a little bit thinner. And now we've gone over the uh, items, now we're going to start making the craft. The first thing we're do is going to do is we're going to cut the scouring pad into one inch squares approximately. There's a line. There's the line or the or the first strip. Now we're going to cut it into little squares. Here we go. So there's one little square. I'm going to cut lots of these little squares. Now I have a whole bunch of little squares like this. Lots of them. I need maybe three to five to make one, um, one of these little products. So what I did now is I poked a needle through these little squares. The purpose of this is to make a little hole, which is a little bit um, smaller than the diameter of the screw. You can see here's the little hole. The little hole is, is being poked through. There you go. So now I'm going to do this to the other four little squares, or five. Um, I'm going to poke uh, a hole through each of them so we have five little squares with a hole through them. What I do now is I take this mandrel and I'm going to unscrew the screw from the top and I'm going to make some new washers because uh, it needs new washers to clamp the um, scouring pad into place. If you just use the screw then it'll tear out needs more friction. So here I've I've screwed out this little mandrel here and the and the screw and the and the base are now separated. Now I'm gonna take the big pop bottle and I'm gonna poke through uh, the plastic with a big thick needle which which you can probably buy at a <coughs> sewing store 
and I'm going to make a hole in the bottom. So see, like like that. There it is. There, you, there you, you can see how I poked through. And this is about how it looks now. About like that. And the purpose of this is to make a washer. What I do now is I poke through the plastic bottle and then I'm, I'm going to cut out really little washers. Uh, just, just with these scissors, it can be any type of scissors, but just be careful because they're sharp. So what I'm, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut a little round shape around this hole, maybe one centimeter or a little, little bit less, and it's, it's going to become a washer. So uh, this, is, this is the bottom part of the pop bottle where the plastic is a little thicker, and I just, I'm just going to cut a, a circle shape around this hole so that I have a little washer. These little square, these little circles were cut out of the pop bottle with scissors. It's not very hard to do. They don't have to be perfectly round. And, and then the idea is to push the screw through the hole. See, once you push the needle th through one end is a little bit, uh, a, a little piece of plastic juts out. And on the other hand, and on the other side, it's very, it's like an indentation. So uh, you want to put the screw through from the indentation side, not where the little um, plastic is sticking out. And the reason is, is, is it's just a lot easier to push the screw through. What we've made now is a screw, uh, sort of an assembly here. And the uh, um, scouring pad, there will be about three to five of them, will be sandwiched between these, these two uh, little pieces of plastic and then screwed into the top of the mandrel. So the washers, so the plastic washers are like a clamp and they clamp everything tight. And then as it spins, everything will just get round. Because the edges will get worn off. So what I did here was I pushed one um, through. Right, right, one of these little pads through and see on the other side there's nothing. Right, now I'm going to take the next pad and it's going to also be put through. As you can see, I took the next pad and I pushed the screw through the hole. And these little pads are sort of, uh, uh, the corners don't match up, and that's, that's the idea. Uh, sometimes it's a little hard to get the screw through the hole. You just push the big needle through again, wiggle it around, make the hole a bit bigger, and then push the screw through. So what I did now is I pushed four through, and you can notice the corners alternate and they don't match up. Um, this just balances the pad a little bit. It doesn't matter much because it's just the corners are going to get worn off anyway. So now I have this little screw pushed through. I'm squeezing these, see, so that the screw comes through. So the little, uh, the scouring pads are being squished. I'm going to pop the green plastic washer over top of them. See, I popped it over top of them and now they're locked into position. They, um, they're a bit compressed, see, like that. And it's squished in the middle, but they don't come apart because the little uh, um, screw um, taper things, uh, uh, they sort of catch on the plastic and they clamp it all together. The next step is going to be to put the rest of the mandrel into, into the Dremel tool or into the rotary tool and then to screw everything tight. So what I did now was I, I took a wrench and I and I tightened the uh, and I put the mandrel and, and tightened it into the rotary tool or Dremel tool, whatever you want to call it. See, so it's nice and tight. It's in there like that, and that's now it's it's ready for the next step. So what I've done now is I've screwed everything tight. I've I uh, pressed down this button and then I used a wrench and tightened this so that this uh, little mandrel here is really tight. And then I took a flathead screwdriver like this and I and I stuck it in here and I screwed this screw into the mandrel quite tightly until it was compressed you can see you can see let me just see if I can focus you can see how compressed it is I, I really squished it in there so now the screw is is um, squishing both of the plastic washers together, sort of making a sandwich, and then the 
um, scouring pad is in the middle and it is held firmly and securely. Now you have this sort of an attachment or this, this sort of a bit for your Dremel tool. You can, you can see what it looks like. You can, you can see the um, bits or the edges are not aligned. And now what you do is you take it somewhere against some rough surface like a rock or a piece of wood and you and you turn it on full speed of course you you wear glasses and then what happens is these edges get worn off and then it'll it'll become round so it'll become round and fuzzy sort of like a product once once you've consumed it it looks like this meaning it's it's basically useless at this point and then you simply take it um, put this mandrel back into the dremel tool or into the rotary tool like that and then you you unscrew this and then you save the two washers that you made in the beginning and you repeat the same process again and then, and once you get good at this it shouldn't take more than about maybe two minutes to make one of these so in two minutes you can save yourself five dollars which is pretty good you can use these things all day long if you want you can you can take the scouring pads and and you can go on on amazon or ebay and buy some dremel mandrels like for the for the little rotary tool I think uh, uh, they should, it should be pretty obvious, and um, just make sure that this shank is the right is the right thickness. It'll say on the product, or you you can just buy these products in the store where, where you buy the Dremel tool, and and you can you can buy a whole bunch of them, and then you can make 20 or 30 of these little things, and you can use them one after the next. They're completely consumable and very cheap. This is what the part looks like when I when I took it out of the Dremel tool. Now I'm going to use it on a piece of wood and you'll see how it looks. I wear safety glasses. <laughs> and and you, you can see by this point, I haven't even used it very long, and you, you can see the um, spinning just sort of rounds it and it fuzzes it and it looks almost like a product right you can see these things get used up very fast and that's if you make your own who cares if you buy them it's pretty expensive and I, I usually use mine on a really high speed because I'm but I make sure I wear eye protection and uh, they get used up fast I think probably it's better to use them on a slower speed but uh, I'll, I'll give you a demonstration of how well they work it also works on wood. So to smooth it out. It's, it's just like using a, one of these um, pads by hand, but it's a lot quicker. Now I have this this Dremel tool in this bit, and I uh, and I want to show you how, how it works. So I I stick it on around a mid speed, maybe a three or a four, and then I turn it on. And then I can just you can see how well it works. It's like steel wool, and it gets rid of the rust. As you can see it gets worn. Which is which is why we know how to make our own. See by this point it's pretty round and it's also pretty it looks a little fuzzy, it almost looks like a product, right? So it, it just sort of fluffs out. And, and it's really important to make sure that this screw is in really tight because if it isn't this, uh, the, um, stu um, the uh, s scrubbing pad is going to have some problems and it's, it's just, it, won't, um, it won't spin right. See by this point it looks perfectly round. It, it looks almost like a product, right? And it's just, the edges just got worn right off. And it's very cheap to make.
Thanks for watching. Bye. Hope it helps. See, so this is the pad now that I've used it. It looks perfectly round. The spinning just rounded it. And you, if you make a whole bunch of these, you can use them whenever you want. And they're really cheap. And you, you can also substitute other materials instead of these scrubby brushes. And you'll probably get a different result.